Sent one time, sent two times, sent three times, then you out Niggas will do anything for the clout Niggas will do anything in the drought That's why they life be hanging a doubt If you don't know, put your hand on your mouth I watch niggas get sick right All now praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh We do so in the name of the only begotten Son Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai And we come out here every week Lord willing to teach our people who they are according to the Bible The beginning, the middle, and end of things Right? We're going to start off with Isaiah 58 verse 1 because the Bible commands us how we should carry ourselves when we come out here. What should we what should we do? What should we be teaching? What the people need to know? So we're gonna start with this scripture right here. Right? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 58 and 1. Uh -huh. Cry aloud. Right? Spare not. So the Bible is telling us to cry aloud. That's why we are here on the corner and we're speaking loud so people can hear us. Right. It says, cry aloud, spare not. So it's not going to be all the time what you want to hear. We can't spare your feelings in, in this matter. This is very important stuff we're dealing with. Right. Right? Read on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Now the brothers read loud. We're speaking loud. Lift up our voice. Sound the alarm. Go ahead. Read on. And show my people their transgression. Now our people are blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians on this side of the world. Those are our people. That's what we're sent out to. Right, give me um, you got a precept? All right, go ahead. God, this is the book of Second Corinthians. It's all good. Second Chronicles, chapter 15 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And they enter into a covenant uh -huh. to seek the power, uh -huh. power of their fathers, uh -huh. with all their heart and with all their soul. Right, our people and in, in the, in the, our ancestors entered into a covenant with the Most High God. And we are in the covenant was to keep the commandments for abundance and rulership. Read that again from the top. Con, the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 12. Uh -huh. And they enter into a covenant uh -huh. to seek Yahweh, power of their father. We entered into a covenant to seek Yahweh, the God of our fathers, right? We coming out here, we're doing this work. We put our hand to the plow, right? Go ahead. With all their heart. With all of our heart, right? The, your heart only pumps blood. So when it's talking about your heart, it's talking about your mind, all right? right? Yeah. With your thoughts, with all our thoughts, read on. And with all their soul, uh -huh. verse 13, that whosoever uh -huh. would not seek the power, uh -huh. power of Israel, uh -huh. should be put to death. Now this is a warning, and we are here to warn y'all. Our God is the God of this Bible. And if you don't seek our God, our God being the God is you, if blacks and Hispanics don't, hey brother, you ever heard this before? Hey brother. No, I hear you. Did you hear this before? Well, there you go. That's that's now 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 when you look around, you see why everything is the way it is. Hey, man, fuck that shit. That's what the brother said. He don't care, huh? He said, "Fuck it, I'm stepping." I'm stepping. What does that mean? He said, "Forget it, I'm stepping." I, I don't know. I'm in PA right now. I'm in Philly. I'm Sakari Philly. Oh, he said, "I'm a shooter." That's what he means. He's a shooter. <laughs> that ain't saying too much. That ain't saying too much. It'd be better if you knew who you was, man. Right. Uh, then you being a shooter, a stepper, a real stepper. Right. So now, so now you, you now it's popular to be, you know what I mean? Hey, brother, right here. Hey, man, this is very important information. I want you to go ahead. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. Uh -huh. For my people is foolish. Hey, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, this is God's people, man. And the Lord is calling us foolish. Look at all this wisdom and knowledge that the Lord gave us in this Bible. Hey, brother. Hey, brother, right here with the bear. How familiar are you with the Bible, man? What's up, what you think? What you, what you learn out of it? What can you share with us as you learn from the Bible? Uh, that whosoever uh, would not seek your help, uh, 
power of Israel should be put to death. Now the, now the Bible says if you don't seek the God of Israel, you're going to be put to death. Now he's only the Israelite's God, so he letting us know, hey, you got to seek our God. You got to seek your God. Or the ways of the sin is death, man. Hey, brother, what you think about this? Have you heard this information before? Yeah, this is what we teach it is your ethnicity according to the Bible, man. Where you from, man? Hey, our people, hey, they too proud to admit they don't know things, man. And they don't want to give themselves five minutes to learn, man. Go ahead, give me that again, Isaiah 58. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, from the top. Uh -huh. Cry aloud, uh -huh. spare not, uh -huh. lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right and show my people their transgression, right. and the house of Jacob their sin. Right, so transgression and sin, they're basically synonymous, man. Transgression of these laws, sin is what put us in this position that we're in. Right. So we out here to show you the error of your way, show you your culture, your heritage. That's what we out here, the commandments is more than just rules that you gotta follow, man. Right. This is actually a culture, it's a heritage, it's a way of life, man. If we grew up with this knowledge, we, it wouldn't be hard for us to keep it, man. If we was born in the knowledge of knowing who we were and everything, we, it wouldn't be hard for us to keep these commandments. But our brain is poisoned with all the stuff that we learned over here in Babylon, right? That now when we hear something that makes sense, when we hear we talk about freedom, our people don't understand that, man. They think they're already free. And we're not. That's why we out here to let you know that you need salvation, man. Hey, sir. And salvation is only found in believing in the Most High and keeping His commandments, man. That's right. And having faith in His Son. Go ahead. Back to what you had. You had more on that? All right, go ahead. Come. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed uh -huh. for lack of knowledge. Hey, this is the knowledge that we need. The knowledge of the law, statute, commandments. The law, the knowledge of who you are. The knowledge of where you came from so you can know where you're going. Right? That's the knowledge that we need. Go ahead. Come. Because thou has rejected knowledge. We have rejected the knowledge of the Lord. Every time we try to engage with one of our brothers and teach them something about the Most High and his commandments and his name and what he's about. Hey, y'all reject the Most High, man. Because y'all think y'all got to figure it out. Y'all don't even know the evil of your doings, man. You don't even know the error of your way. All right. Hey, brother. Hey, brother right here. You seen brothers posted out teaching like this before? Hey, hey, come here. Let me talk to you, bro. Hey, we out here fishing, man. We out here fishing. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. What you have? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. Uh -huh. yeah. For my people is foolish. Uh -huh. They have not known me. They are sottish. Children. Hey man, the Lord calling us all kind of names, man. So don't get mad at us when we get to calling y'all names, man. The Lord did it to us. We supposed to be more like him, so we should be doing the same thing. And don't get offended, just accept that you don't really know stuff, man. And you need to, you can learn. It's an opportunity to learn. Hey brother, you ever heard of this before? Yeah, I watch y'all. So what you think, man? I like it. I like it. So you think it's enough to, you know, start? Back to your coach, so you believe you're an Israelite? Yes. Right. So what tribe would you be from? Look at this sign right here. Huh? You're from Haiti. So you'd be an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Right? Yeah, you'd be one of the priests, like Moses was a Levi. Alright. I mean, I'm not sure what you do. I got I got a point, but Oh, okay. I, I love what y'all do though. Hey, tap in with us, brother. I definitely will. Because you can't do it by yourself, man. It's not enough to just learn and watch videos. Hey, this brother got a verse for you. Real quick, real quick. This is book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest looks to keep knowledge. You being a, a Haitian, you're a Levitical priest. The priest lips should keep knowledge. Knowledge of what? Go ahead. And they should seek the law at his mouth. The law is the knowledge that people should be seeking to come out of your mouth. The laws that's written in this Bible. The first five books of this Bible that Moses gave to the Israelites. Your job is to teach the people the laws as a Levite. You understand what I'm saying? So start learning them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give up, man. Start learning them. Come in. Come tap in with us. Knock in with us, man. All right. Right? Go ahead and finish what you have. They are Sadish children. Right. 
and they have none understanding. Right, now shot that boy shot is means dumb, man. And they said we have no understanding because if we did, we'd be obedient to the Lord, man. That's right. If we had sense and knowledge, we would be doing what God says, man. Because no good comes out of being disobedient to your creator. Right. Everybody has been created for a purpose, man. And when you step outside, out, out of line with that purpose, anything can happen to you, man. Anything can happen. You got something? Go ahead. Read on. They are wise to do evil. Uh huh. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Right, like the brother said, he's stepping. Or whatever, whatever the hell. <laughs> the brother said, no, I ain't got time to listen to that. I'm stepping. <laughs> I guess that means he killing niggas. That's what the Philly Akim said. That means he, he a shooter. But, the, but he has no knowledge to, to do good. He has no understanding. He got the, all the whole breakdown on that, the lingo and all. <laughs> but to get his people out of poverty, out of oppression, he ain't even interested in that. Right. Hey, brother. What do you think will fix the black community, man? Everything. Everything will fix the black community. I guess that's crack cocaine, yep. heroin, yep. you know what I mean? Flowers and candy, forgiveness. <laughs> you know, whatever the Christian church propagate, which is crack cocaine, <laughs> you know, flowers and candy, forgiveness right. for all. That's what they propagate, right? right? That's, 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 and that's what we think all we need is just to say, forgive, 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 forgive. Hey man, the most high not dealing like that, man. Right. You're not forgiving like that. So what makes you think God's gonna forgive like that? Man? Right. It's harder for you to forgive somebody that stepped on your shoe and you think God can just gonna just forgive you for living a whole life of wickedness. And that's the problem. You tell somebody, God told us we the most, we we the best people on the face of the earth. Right. So of course it's gonna be hard to try to get anything to the mind of these to the minds of these people, man, that you done already told is the best. Why would they listen? Oh, they done heard all they need to hear. I'm the best. Let's go. Let's get it for them. Let's get it for them. Deuteronomy 7, where it says that we the best. It's a certain thing about being the best. It's a certain thing about us that makes us the best. It's something about Christ or Yahweh Shah that made him perfect. What about Yahweh Shah made him perfect? Hey, brother, you believe in Jesus? What you believe in, bro? What about? Let me talk to you real quick. Let me ask you a question. What is it? What is it about? I'm, I'm gonna ask you too. This same question for both of y'all. What is it about Jesus, yeah. as well as being your Howard shot, that made him perfect? What is it, what is it about your Howard shot that made him perfect? I say he's not what they make him to be. He, he wasn't what they made him to be. What'd you say? I believe he's supposed to be sinless. What'd you say? I believe he's supposed to be sinless. Right, he's supposed to be sinless, right? Yeah, let's get sin out of the Bible real quick. Let's show him my sin out of the Bible. Yeah, get sin real quick. First John uh, 3 and 4. Yeah, get that real quick. We're going to show you what sin is according to the Bible because you can be perfect too, brother. Just like Jesus was. Right? Go ahead. It's the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. Right, read on. For read sin read. is the transgression of the law. So sin, what made Christ perfect, like you said, is that he didn't, he didn't sin. So sin is the breaking of the laws. So if we knew what the laws were, then we know what we can and we can't do. And then we would be just like Christ. Right. But the thing about our people and our community is that we have, and the church has never taught us the commandments of God, how to love God. You understand what I'm saying? If you love your girl, you want to do certain things for her. If she loves you, she's going to do certain things for you. It's the same thing with God. If you love God, you want to do certain things for him, for him. You know he loves you because he woke you up this morning, right? Put that iced coffee in your hand, right? right? Put, the, put the shoes on your feet, right? But what have you done for God lately? That's the question. You don't gotta answer it. Because if you're not keeping these commandments, then you can't even count whatever it is you're doing. Right. Because this is how you love God, is keeping these commandments. If you don't know a commandment on the top of your head, okay, I did this, I kept this commandment because I know God told me to do this. Then you then you know you've been obedient to the Lord. You're doing what he asked you to do. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead. The book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 2. Listen to this, brother. By this we know that we love the children of God uh -huh. when we love God 
and keep his commandments. Now, this, everybody say they love everybody. I love all people. I, I love. Read that again. Uh, by this we know. Everybody's that, like, everybody is a child of God. This is what people say. Everybody is a child of God. How do you love the children of God? Go ahead. First John 5 and 2. Uh -huh. By this we know that we love the children of God. That's how you love the children of God. Although the children of God are blacks and Spanish and Native Americans and Super Indians. That's right. In truth, these are the children of God. Right? But even for the people that say anybody's a child of God, how do you love the children of God? Read on. When we love God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. When you love God and keep his commandments, that's how you love the children of God. Read on. Verse 3. For this is the love of God uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not Greek. So all that, you can't hug God. You can't hug him. You know, you can't pat him on the back. You can't buy him flowers. So you thank God by being obedient to his word like Christ did. That's how you love God. You be obedient to his word. Understand what I'm saying? And with you being an Israelite, what tribe are you saying from? Okay, good. So you want to tie into that information from that file on the YouTube page tonight? 